Hey there, this is Steve from Rockstar Eater and I hope you're having another rockin' day today. I'm going to continue on with my food adventures today as usual and I'm going to be starting this little mini Caribbean food tour which is not going to be too many countries but nevertheless it's very exciting for me because I haven't really had Caribbean food before. I'm going to begin today with the country of Haiti. Haiti which is a country in the Caribbean seas which has some pretty awesome food and I'm going to be trying some Haitian food today for the first ever time in my whole life. This is going to be such an exciting experience for me and I don't think a lot of people know what Haitian food is like and quite frankly I don't really know that much about it but I'm going to find out for the first time today and I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek into what really good authentic Haitian food looks like here in uh, Los Angeles and I'm at this place called Island Flavors Caribbean Food. Island Flavors is like the only uh, food operations of its kind to serve Haitian food in Los Angeles. It's like a catering truck business and uh, yeah so they've been serving some really great authentic Haitian food to people all around the community and I'm so excited to be able to try this and to show you another one of the hot spots that you can find here in Los Angeles. So be sure to stick all the way to the end of this episode so that you can see not only what Haitian food looks like here in LA but just what Haitian food looks like in general. And also if you haven't already please subscribe to this channel because I release these awesome food videos, the best on the internet and just got to go down to the bottom hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and you'll be getting these episodes on a weekly basis. So I'm about to go right now and uh, stick with me so that you can enjoy this ride. So I'm out here all the way in Silmar. Usually Island Flavors operates as this food truck like in Van Nuys, but ever since the whole like shutdown thing, they've been cooking out of their home or something like that. So that's why I'm all the way out here in Silmar today, which is in the northern part of Los Angeles County. They're gonna be cooking a lot of Haitian food for me to try today. All this food that they cook out of this home for their catering business. So I'm here and let's go in and let's see what this whole place looks like and what they got going on. All right, so when customers order, do they usually just like come here or how does it work? You no, know, normally she does it at her home. Yeah. They go to her house. Um, but because it's a video, she doesn't have an island in her house, so she wants to use an island for the video. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the first time I'm actually shooting a... <laughs> a video at somebody's house. Oh, is that a bad thing? <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Carol? Carol? Yeah. Good to meet you. Good I am Steve. You. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, guys. So I am in the uh, so I'm in this really cool house right now. And this is uh, where they're going to be doing some of the food demonstrations for us today. And I've taken you guys to like restaurants. I've even taken you to like backyards that have like all this really cool stuff going on where the owner cooks you know her stuff or his stuff so today's going to be the first time that i'm going to show you guys a cooking operation out of somebody's home so what are we going to be making first yeah, I'm going to make the salmon. Well, salmon. she's going to mm -hmm. be making salmon salmon okay she's cleaning it first oh. with lemon oh okay with lemon okay all right, so adding some of that seasoning on top of it. Ooh. Oh, so all the vegetables go in and then the sauce goes in. Okay, now the salmon goes in, right? Okay. Oh, wow. This is Geraldine. This is her house. Isn't that amazing? This is the house that she let her aunt, who's the owner, do all the cooking today. And this is just uh, something that she prepared specially for me, coming here to show you guys how they make some of this authentic homestyle Haitian food. Okay, so these are the green bananas used for the uh, tostones, right? Uh -huh. All right. So there goes the plantains in there for frying. Oh, wow. Okay, so she has to smash it down in order to get a flat like that. And then it would be uh, going into the fryer once again. Okay. Okay. 
Sorry, so stand back a little bit. Stand back, yeah, I'm gonna stand Careful. back. Careful. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Okay. Uh, there it goes, it's gonna fry again. So all the food is done right now and I'm so excited to be able to try all this stuff for you guys in order for you to see what Haitian food looks like. So today I'm going to be trying three different authentic popular Haitian food that's also really popular here at Island Flavors beginning with the first one. This is the salmon plate which is one of the hot items at uh, this restaurant. Oh yeah. So they got the salmon right here which you guys saw earlier that was kind of like boiled oh, with all the spices and everything and then with some of the vegetable bell pepper and onions on top and then they got the specialty black rice which is right over here which is something i'm very excited to try and then they got the tostones right here which i've actually had before recently so these fried plantains right here they're smashed and then as a side condiment uh, they have like these as well which is the uh, pickly right here which is cabbage carrots vinegar chili salt you know all that good stuff and then they also have the green salsa that's right here parsley onion garlic you know also really awesome stuff and you got your lemons right here which i guess you could use for your fish i think i'm going to get some of the vegetables with the salmon together like that you see that nice huh Oh wow, that's amazing. If you're a seafood fan, obviously, this one is the way to go because who doesn't like salmon? I mean, salmon is like one of the most liked fish out there. And, and then I wanna try some of these tostones too, these really big flattened smashed tostones that are fried. I can already predict that this is gonna be crunchy. Yeah, well, let's find out. Mmm. Oh, very nice. Tastes kind of like the tostones I had at that Nicaraguan restaurant, Porto Banco. Mmm. It's like really nice and soft inside and really crispy on the outside. Mmm. Yeah, so if you've never had a tostones before, then this is something you definitely need to try. Yeah, even especially here at an Haitian restaurant and yeah, get this. You know, actually this is gonna come in most dishes anyway, so you're gonna try it regardless. Yeah, I'm very curious to see what this black rice tastes like. All right. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That's a nice flavor to it. Mmm. Oh yeah. You definitely need to get try the black rice. And then this one is called the legume, which is also another really delicious, authentic Haitian food. This one right here is like a mixture of like these beef chunks along with eggplant and carrots and uh, chayote squash, I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, I've never heard of that before, but it's the first time I'm gonna be trying it today. This looks so, so amazing. And then it also comes with some of these black beans on the side as well. And then we got some white rice and more smashed tostones right there. Ooh, I'm gonna have a lot of tostones today. Mmm. Wow, that's good. I just love the mixture of all the different like vegetables that are in there, like the carrots as well as the eggplant. That's the best way to describe it. It's like because of the eggplant and the stewed carrots, it's like really soft. It's soft, it's melt in your mouth along with this great vegetable sauce and the beef stew as well. Mm. Perfect dish. <clears throat> if you like the combination of everything that I just said right now. Okay, another beef stew. And I think I'm gonna get it with some of this rice as well. Oh yeah, all together. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 
Yep, that is a winner right there. The beef stew with the white rice, that's definitely way, the way to go. And then the third and the last one, which is also an equally delicious looking dish, is the stewed chicken. So this is the stewed chicken right here with some of this vegetable on top of it. And then it comes with like the beans right over there and some white rice. So we got some black rice and white rice today. And then some more tostones. I think what I'm going to do is begin with the leg. Oh, it's a huge piece of leg. Wow, look at all that meat that's on this leg. That is crazy. Mmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is good. It's really soft. It falls, it just falls right off the bone. You can, you just use very minimal effort to move the meat off the bone and it just falls off and it's so tender and juicy as well. That's what you need in like a really good chicken stew. Mmm. I'm gonna take some of this black beans. I'm gonna mix it in with the white rice and I'm gonna see how that changes the flavor of it. Mm. Oh yeah, these black beans, they definitely work so well with the white rice. So you can definitely eat it together as well. Oh man, this is an amazing meal. So overall, my first impression of Haitian food is like, it, it means it's really great. You know what it reminds me of? It's very similar to like Belizean food. You know, it kind of has like a little bit of that Latin flavor along with, of course, the Caribbean influence as well. Now, of course, I'm going to be trying some other Caribbean Sea country restaurants in the next few weeks, but this is the first of it in the list. And I can already tell you that that's kind of like my impression of what the food is like. It's very flavorful. You know, all of it is like homemade. It has a really authentic, awesome recipe to it. And you just got a lot of different flavors going on all at the same time. So yeah, island flavors here in LA. Definitely a place you need to look up. Because I think as of this video, I think it's the only restaurant or food operation that serves Haitian food in the city. But, you know, they do, they do a great job at it. I'm very impressed. So look them up on social media, you know, Facebook, Instagram. Yelp, you can order online or order through the phone, and then they're gonna give you the same stuff that I'm eating right now. Really, really awesome stuff. Oh boy, it is so, so hot. That is typical summer weather here in Los Angeles. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Rockstar Eater. And if you like what I'm doing here on the show, then please give me a thumbs up and also comment on the section below. If you've had Haitian food before, or maybe you want to recommend any dishes that I haven't tried in this episode, then by all means, share with all of us so that we know what to eat at a Haitian restaurant. And finally, please subscribe to Rockstar Eater. That's the best way in order to support me and to get these awesome food videos on a weekly basis. Just hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, and you'll be getting these episodes on a weekly basis. Well, I hope you have a rockin' day today and that you'll try some of this rockin' Haitian food sometime soon. And be sure to click on the video on the screen in order to see some of my other great food adventures that I've been on. And I'll see you in the next video.